Hello, Katie Freiling here. I uh, wanted to take a few moments today to just share with you a little bit about an experience I recently had. Uh, last week I went to a five-day silent meditation retreat. Now this is not um, a, a so-called vacation. Uh, in fact, the, the sole purpose of this retreat was to really just go deep into myself. You know, to, to be able to uh, let go of all the external distractions with work and personal life and all this kind of stuff and to really just have that, that space to be able to really inquire and go deep and, and really find and, and realize and sense the truest nature of myself. So there was really a, a real reason and purpose for, for wanting to do this and it's definitely not something that's for everybody. I fully realize that. But I just thought that um, you might be able to take some value out of what I got out of it and some of the insights that I kind of came across. And I just want to tell you first off that what I was able to see and experience about myself, um, I really cannot put into words. Uh, no, no words can ever do it justice. In fact, words are just cheap. You got to go experience it and, and know it for yourself. Absolutely. But I did want to, um, you know, just share a little bit with you here today. Uh, hopefully, inspire you to to maybe want to go deeper within yourself and uh, start to get a sense uh, of your true nature as well. So, okay, so five days of silence. Now, most of us have never done this before, ever, to turn off cell phones, to not speak to anybody, and to um, really meditate for for hours throughout the day. Um, and I've got to say, it was, it was such an amazing, beautiful experience. I would highly recommend it to anybody. And this is not something that's dogmatic. It's not about a certain religion. Um, in fact, it's really more about a shedding. A shedding of all of the conditioning and um, the rigid belief systems and um, uh, things that we've accumulated throughout our lives to really just shed all of that to see um, what the essence of, of us really is. Um, so definitely not, you know, dogmatic. So don't don't worry about that. It's it's definitely something that everyone would be able to benefit from. But after after the first day or so, man, I started really seeing how loud my mind is. Most of us, in fact, all of us, have minds that are just nonstop non-stop chattering, just like a popcorn popper, pop, 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 one thought after another, after another, after another. And if you actually sit and watch your mind, if, if you sit in silence for a few minutes and just kind of observe it, you'll see that it is just all over the place. So to actually, you know, uh, be immersed in that silence and see firsthand just how loud my mind is was, um, was really a, a, a revelation for me. Because then I was able to get into the space of just observing. So instead of believing every thought that came into my mind, every worry or oh, what, what about this and you know I'm a little afraid of this and what if this doesn't work out the way I want it to or all this, this nonsense that my mind was continually um, just creating, I was able to actually you know kind of uh, take a step back and observe it and uh, see it a little bit more objectively and know that, that my mind is really not always telling the truth. In fact, most of us have, um, our thoughts are completely distorted only because we are interpreting them. We are interpreting reality through our minds, so it's never going to be fully objective. It's never going to be fully truthful. There's always going to be a bias because it's our minds interpreting reality for us. So after really realizing that, you know what? Most of us are going around um, just kind of being led on a leash, kind of like a dog on a leash by our minds. We're just being dragged around to believe whatever our mind tells us. And it's really uh, incredibly liberating to start to see how untrue that is. And uh, just to really know that, that we don't have to, to believe our minds and to believe everything that the mind perpetuates because the mind naturally cannot be satisfied in the present moment. There's always some kind of yearning or wanting something else or kind of resisting this or this isn't good enough or we want this instead. Uh, if you watch it, you really start to see. It's very, very fascinating. Very fascinating. 
So the purpose of being in silence for, for five days is not really necessarily to calm the mind, um, you know, or manipulate the mind to be calmer, although that is a byproduct of what happens after you are in silence and meditating for five days. My mind was definitely much more calm, much more serene by the end. Um, but it's really just about um, stepping into the role of, of observer of what our minds do and knowing that that's not really who we are. That's not who we are at all. So I was able to actually start to uh, see through the mind or kind of transcend it. And it, it doesn't mean that I didn't have all these crazy thoughts while I was there. Of course, I still did. But it, it didn't, it wasn't, um, you know, controlling me like it maybe was before. So very, very liberating. Um, and to really be able to sink deep into myself and inquire about, um, you know, things that were coming up for me and um, just emotions and, and past conditioning and this and that and just really questioning, 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 questioning what, what is true? What am I really? And when you can, you know, really start doing that and, and start um, questioning and really just have a, an earnest desire to find out who you really are and your true self, uh, you'll really start to get a sense for it. And that's what happened to me. It wasn't something that I got with my mind. My mind didn't finally grasp something and say, aha, I got it, I figured it out. It wasn't like that at all. In fact, it was more of a sense, more of a sense of being that I was able to, to really experience uh, a sense of a deeper connection with my, my true self and, and a, just a deeper connection with, with life. Um, so really, it was, it was really, really amazing. And um, what really ended up happening is that my, my heart was able to open quite a bit more. Um, I, just, I just felt my energy open to life. And I was able to sense that interconnectedness so much more deeply and, and really for myself. It was really such a, a beautiful experience because, um, you know, I, I really feel that most of us are looking for ourselves. We really are. And we get a little confused. We start to search for ourselves and material things or money or success or maybe even the perfect romantic relationship. We search for happiness other places. And we're never, ever, ever going to be happy if we try to find ourselves in anything external. So if you think you're going to finally find happiness when you get money or finally find happiness when you meet your perfect mate, it's absolutely not true. You're still going to get that sense of something's missing. And only when you can truly know who you are and know yourself and really have that, that intimate connection with yourself first and find that true and just utter satisfaction with you, with yourself, and find happiness there, um, that is true freedom, true liberation, true satisfaction, true happiness, true joy, and true love. It really is. That's what love is when you can really um, sense yourself and everyone else in this, this uh, crazy interconnectedness of life, this huge matrix that um, we really can't even fathom with the mind, but when the mind is, is when, you, when you're able to kind of see past the mind, you'll, you'll start to sense it with your being, and it is a beautiful, beautiful experience, let me tell you. Um, so really, just, just uh, also to being able to just let go. Um, so many of us, um, you know, we, we follow our minds, kind of like I said, like the dog on a leash, uh, but we, we believe our minds to the point where we're always having an argument with reality. We're always arguing with what is. We're not happy with this. We wish this would be a certain way. Or somebody does something to us and we go, oh my gosh, you know, um, you know, I, I wish you didn't do that. Or how could you do that? Or this, that. And we get angry and upset and we fight. It's this constant battle with reality. So, you know, I guess the biggest lesson that I can share, the biggest insight I can share is, is to really let go of your control to let go of, of what you think reality should be and to just let life flow and to not have such a, a, a strong grip and, and to try to control or fight and resist what is really happening. So when you really kind of just step back, I'm actually running out of time here, but when you really just step back and um, you know, you're able to just 
have everything be okay and let reality just be and let yourself just be. Um, it's it's really incredible. It's it's where true freedom lies. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you got some some you know good information. Leave me a comment if you'd like. Um, it might not have made complete sense to you, but um, anyway, just looking forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thanks so much. Bye bye.